I'm on my travel setup. Uh, let me join. Here we go. Okay, that was very timely. Uh, nine seconds until Title Tuesday. I don't even have chat open, or do I? Maybe yeah, I do. I won't be looking at chat for at least the first game. Um, hello to people, though. I hope things look and sound okay. Hopefully the audio is okay. Um, I'm going to mix up the openings today and play a different repertoire compared to what I usually do in Title Tuesday. Um, playing an English first game, I decided about 15 minutes ago that I would play and stream this tournament and also play some some lines that I don't usually play in uh, in these tournaments. Um, we have a floor mechanics. This is one reason to play the English is to try and uh, confuse the opponent, provoke them into some dubious move order, which, yeah, black is already a little bit passive here. Probably not too bad for black, but uh, yeah, this, I mean, I have already e5? Should be three. I really want to punish this. I'm going to start with this. Some eventual e5 idea. Like if I play e5 now, take, take, probably not necessary. Let's go, Eric. Let's go. Thank you, NLV. Um, yeah. <laughs> I forgot I have alerts on. Um, appreciate the sub. I hope the TTS is okay. So I'm just using my um, my speakers, my built-in speakers, as opposed to my earbuds. Okay, e5 is still an idea, but maybe I'll start with queen e2 and gradually preparing. Might see c5 soon. So c5, e5. Let's catch it. C5, E5, take, take is good for white. C5, E5. Imagine like take, take, knight, D7. But then bishop, F4. It seems like a very pleasant space advantage. I only speak once a month. I appreciate still uh, Wida Kolo. Welcome back. Yeah, you're only allowed to sub once a month. As far as I know. Okay, nice looking position. Very pleasing peace harmony. Um, a three is a move. I think I'll just castle here. Complete development. Happy almost two years. Pack shipman. Uh, rookie one. So I have four defenders against the pawn. F six is one idea, but I think it's it does more damage to black than it does to me. Oh, this move looks so attractive. Knight d5 takes and then this. Don't know if it works because my bishop's not defended. So maybe I'll play this first. Ensuring the bishop's defended and then this might become a real threat very soon. Yeah, black's under major pressure here. Also, welcome everyone just tuning in. Um, I don't actually have chat open. I just have OBS open, so I see the occasional alerts. But um, between games, I'll take a look at chat. This is the first game of Title Tuesday. So far, so far I haven't lost, and so far the servers haven't crashed. So pretty good start. Uh, Queen e4 is an idea. Would force g6. Queen f4. Maybe just a3. Uh, but knight d4 is coming. Take, take. Maybe I do play queen e4. Not sure if we'll, we'll have any Staffords today. Depends how tilted I get. I actually have an interesting idea of what opening to play for black against e4. Which maybe we'll see in future games. So the king has a couple options to defend the pawn. It's looking really nice for white, though. And it looks like I lost a tempo, but um, I provoked the weakness. Now knight d4 is not quite playable. 
Queen h6 is an idea. Queen h6, knight d4. And there's a Saxon g6, which look very enticing. So there's a calculation. Knight d4, take, 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 take. Here I take. King g7. I'm trying to imagine a line where eventually I take and rook lift. Ah, maybe I, I do take king g7. And then I take on d4. Yeah. Um, so I could throw in one more check, or I could take. I think both moves are winning. Um, but I'm trying to be professional here. Yeah, I'll throw in one more check. Can't hurt. Because rook g8 gets made instantly. And yeah, I'm threatening some kind of mate. Hey, let's go. Thank you. Nice to hear. Keep it up, Shaggy Pike. Uh, yeah, this is Force Mate. Made in three or four or five. Forgot about Bishop G five. <laughs> Assume this and this is Mate. Um, okay, prompts resignation. So good start. Um, oh, I haven't dropped any frames so far. That's good. I wasn't sure about my Wi-Fi, but um, let me see if I can figure out how to open chat. Uh, okay, I have chat open. Welcome back, everyone. If it's your first time here, uh, this is my, not my usual habitat, but uh, I figured I'd do kind of a last minute Title Tuesday stream. And yeah, relatively clean game. I mean, I think my opponent got a little bit confused in the opening. Um, because very often against English, you can play the same way you would normally play against d4. So I assume if I play d4 here, my opponent goes for Nimzo or Queen's Gambit declined. But the cool thing about this move order is this move e4, and it's it's just a brand new or like completely different opening than mainline d4. And then I mean the best move for Black is d5. There's other moves. There's c5. There's e5. But at d6 is already kind of passive for black. Uh, welcome to so many more people. I'm streaming from a laptop, as maybe people can see. So uh, I don't I don't have the luxury of having so many monitors. So Chad is like very small. Uh, let me see if I can shrink the size. Yeah, just to show. This is my chat. I have it on like another small window. Uh, let me thank some people. Thank you, CDR Siri. Welcome back. Hey, let's go. Yeah, the most recent video on YouTube is like over five hours long. And it's only part one. There's another part coming, which is... Wait. Maybe it's part two that's over five hours. I forget. It's going to be like eight hours total of content between two videos. So I appreciate those that watch even part of it. Welcome back, Pancake Gremlin, The Gap 90, Chimpani, Redacted Lettuce. Yeah, this is just a temporary travel setup. I'll be back in my natural habitat at some point in the near future. I saw a comment earlier from uh, DeGensh, who actually I saw in real life just over a week ago in Charlotte. And DeGensh was asking if I could play a Ponziani in Title Tuesday. And I played a Ponziani last week in Title Tuesday. I'm not sure if you saw the video. It should be on YouTube on my extra channel. Um, what was the title of that video? It was like Toodle Tilt's Day or something. Um, exclamation point extra for the extra channel. But I've, I lost a crazy game in the Ponziani last week. So today, maybe I'll explain what I've kind of decided upon. I might change depending how the tournament goes. Oh, I'm playing Komsky. Well, if he plays E4, I'm going to play the, um, the Nimzovich. Okay. 
Kamsky in the first round, or the second round. Uh, yeah, let's play the Nimzovich. Probably not the best opening choice against Kamsky. He's known to enjoy having a space advantage. But maybe, I mean, should I play e5 here? He's allowing it. I play the Colorado Gambit. I'm just going to play d6. One of the main points of this line. Um, and basically go for a modern setup. It's a bit different because I've committed to knight c6 very early. Uh, so the point is if d5, I just go back and then kind of poke and prod at the center. And if white doesn't play d5, then I have bishop g4 and e5. It starts with bishop g5. I think I can throw in h6. Uh, let's not hang a queen. <laughs> I was expecting bishop e3. Uh, I think it's just bishop d7 here. Or, um, I'm thinking too far ahead. I'm thinking h3 and maybe move back, but maybe queen d7. The better idea. Have to watch out for bishop b5. I think it's okay. Very often, black is okay giving away the light squared bishop. I do concede the bishop pair. If I have e5. E5, we trade. By bishop b5, we trade. I think it's okay. Trying to get a closed position. A position that will favor the knights over the, the bishops. If d5, then I'm, I think I'm happy. Like g5, knight g6 later. That's a move. So a6. I'm going to see the trade. So I have b5 here. And b5 is a little bit weakening. I think I have to do it, though. So allowing some trades. Oh, I'm allowing this exchange, or that exchange, but I have knight takes... I think it's still okay. It seems like there's tactics, but casting would defend everything. So f4 is maybe coming. Do I have g5? g5 we trade. The problem is queen h5 in the end of this sign. g5 trade trade castle queen h5. Otherwise, f4 is coming. Maybe g5 and knight g6. Just don't trade. Take, take, f4. The knight is strong. Take, take, rook, g8. Let's go for this. Looks very delicate for black. Like, light squares are a bit weak. I'm hoping that, like, my control over these squares will offer some counterplay. And queen d5 looks scary, but probably just castle. Yeah, so taking loses pawn. If I took with pawn. Yeah, I was looking at the line f4 take, rook takes. a4 is a very Komsky-like move. So now if I castle, f4 happens. If I play rook b8. Yeah, very shaky position. Maybe I just ignore it. But what to do? I should really connect the rooks. Four take. You just rook g8. It's a weird move, but. Ah, wait, he's ready to take bishop a4. I have to play something like. Ugh. Oh, this is not a good position. King e7, maybe? Just bond cloud. Getting the king off the light square. As knight is an MVP. So it holds together f7. Mm. He's like c5, c4. Problem with c5 is it allows um, outpost on d5 for the bishop.
I'm scared bad things are about to happen to me. But maybe it's still okay. G7 or G6? Or G6. Queen F1 may be coming. Queen F1 F6. This is terrifying. I'll play C4. I just hung a queen. Oh, uh, it's so bad. I, I saw this tactic earlier. Um, I'll try and fight on a little bit more. Maybe there's some stalemate trap potential. But it's Komsky. I still have a strong knight. It's not flag. Ah, there goes my time. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, got out playing. I'm not too disappointed about that game. I mean, it was a difficult position, but it felt like I had some some chances even around here. Like G4 seemed weakening. I was considering crazy move rook G4. I don't think it works though. Like take, take, take. The idea is I hit both pieces, and if takes I win the queen. Um, but it's giving away too much material for the queen. Yeah, c5 was just a bad move. The problem is I can't take with pawn because rook a8 and just my mind uh, <laughs> forgot about uh, bishop a4. It's like short term memory loss. Thank you, Pitch Bucket. Thank you, 6TV. I appreciate the support. Um, two rounds in, servers are still alive. Um, trying to reconfigure my windows here. I've dropped 230 frames so far. Of for my PhD thesis proposal. Oh, well, maybe, uh, maybe this is more enjoyable. <laughs> maybe you can multitask. I, between games, do a little bit of slide work. Question about knight d3. Yeah, the knight is a bit tied down to f7. So like the knight can't really move away unless there's a, like, a strong tactic. I really wanted to access f3, but what to do? So I'm going to go back to uh, English. Probably no London today. I just feel like trying some new, new or fresh positions. I mean, I've played the English for, for many years. It's one of my go-to openings, uh, at least in tournament play. Any Viennas today? Smile. Oh, maybe if you entice me enough with your smile. Not sure. I, I think I'm sticking to English. Um, it'd be nice to have like a themed title Tuesday where uh, maybe for select title Tuesdays, I... Wait, is there this move? I remember studying this. I'm pretty sure this is a move. 
yeah, for select title Tuesdays, I'll play like different repertoires. So in the future, maybe I'll play a Vienna Gambit repertoire or just a, a complete Gambit repertoire. Yeah, I remember studying this actually for both colors. Like the, the position for black isn't so bad, but I don't think bishop g7 is the best move. I can take and how to complete development. There's e3 or g3. Wait, what? That's not good. Wait, reconnecting. That's not good at all. I've never seen that message before. I'm hoping, hoping everything's okay. I'm hoping that's just like a weird chess.com server thing. Have other people gotten that message too? Okay, well, I, I have to focus on the game because, uh, wait, do I have queen a4? Lucky 13. Thanks for all the lessons. Oh no, my connection. If this were duck chess, knight takes c3, duck h1 would be very powerful. Threatening the smothered mate. Or smothered duck mate. Yeah, I really haven't played much on chess.com in the last like couple weeks. It's really only been Title Tuesdays, so I haven't experienced like these server outages that everyone's been talking about. I mean, so far it seems to be okay. I mean, I I'd hope they like they take measures to ensure Title Tuesday runs smoothly. So far, this seems to be the case. Opponent uh, very generous with Queen F6, just missing the the pin. Yeah, queen a4 is a nice like geometric move. Because obviously it hits the queen. And that's probably like the main thing my opponent saw, missing the fact that the, the pawn is pinned to the rook and the knight is uh is just hanging. Okay, so we do have a prediction going. Um we're two rounds in, but I guess there's still time to vote in this prediction. Um I mean, I'm, I'm two out of three, so I think it's unlikely I'll finish with three and a half or less. Although maybe if the servers crash and the tournament gets cut short, I could finish with three and a half or less. So yeah, I can talk a little bit about this opening. It's, it's nice winning, winning with the English in 13 moves. Usually the English leads to like longer fights compared to other more aggressive lines but yeah this a3 line it's a little bit tricky because a lot of players are used to developing their bishop to b4 c5 and bishop um, or after pawn a3 the bishop doesn't really want to go to c5 because then e3 and there's all these ideas of expanding with tempo against the bishop um, this is one of the main lines within the english that motivated me to start playing the English. Because it can also lead to a reverse Sicilian, which is kind of what happened in our game. Like reverse open Sicilian. And I play the Taiman of his black, which is a setup with usually um, like pawn on e3, queen here, knight here, but of course flip colors. And here it's basically a Taiman of up a tempo. And black went for this g6 move. And after takes, uh, yeah, white wins a pawn. Um, now, it's not so simple. Black should have taken. And there is a way to get counterplay here. But the idea is queen e4, I'm winning back a knight. And as far as I know, the move is queen e7. Although now I'm trying to remember. Is it queen e7? Or is it bishop? Maybe it's bishop d7. No, it's, it's bishop g7 defending the knight. Uh, allowing queen takes and then queen e7. And I studied this years ago. Um, from both colors, because I, I was looking to play this position as black. It's like a weird opening gambit. And there's cool ideas for black, 
Like if white's not careful, let's say plays g3, then how to show an example. I think a move like c6, if queen goes back, there's already knight d3 check or knight f3 check. Like there's so many ideas with this pin along the e-file that white has to be careful about. So yeah, I think the engine will give like close to equal, but this position should be easier for black to play. Yeah, we can actually see maybe the engine already prefers black in, in many lines. G6 is not the most common move. I mean, more people will play like bishop e7 or bishop e6, but then there's similar ideas uh, to Tarmanov of bishop e4 or bishop e5 and pressure an e5 pawn combined with d4, or b4. So we have some time between this round and the next. Hello to 926 Andy. How do you feel about Sicilian English attack? Um, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's one of the sharpest lines in many variations in Sicilian, like the English style attack with F3, G4. Uh, it's not an opening I've played much, uh, at least as white. Sometimes I have to play against it as black in Taimanov or like classical Sicilian, but, um, yeah, if you go into English attack with either color, you have to be very well prepared. Dutch against English. Yeah, so the thing about English, when you're playing against it, a lot of people don't study it because they, they prioritize E4 and D4, which is understandable. E4, D4 are, uh, are more common than English. But English very often can transpose into d4 openings so if you play the dutch you can easily play it against english welcome back to nick crabtree next otb tournament is likely in norway i still haven't booked my flight but um yeah like 95 percent next month um i'll have more information coming soon once it's uh like finalized but i've never been to norway before And I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a nine round tournament with a lot of GMs, GM norm opportunities. I'm just going to try and have fun, learn some things, play some strong players. And then um, also Reykjavik open. Reykjavik is pretty much confirmed as well. That'll be in March slash April, end of March, early April. Played last year, really, really nice tournament. It's one of the, probably one of the best open tournaments in the world as far as like venue and conditions go. Welcome to Play Classic Chess. It says, hi, I'm new. Yeah, if you're new here, uh, welcome. I know a lot of people will find me on YouTube and then carry over to Twitch, but Twitch is where I do all the live streaming. Welcome to T Fox. I do appreciate the the subs on Twitch and the resubs and yeah, everyone being here. At some point I, I am considering doing a live stream on YouTube and or Instagram and or TikTok. Um just to try and broaden the the reach, reach different audiences. Ooh, who is this? Gulia. Gulia Pop, okay. Um, I almost played D4 for muscle memory, but I'm going to stick with English. And we have E6. So this is what I play as black. Now we transpose into QGD. Uh, Bishop B4, yeah, this is very trendy. I'm trying to remember the line. I know there's some like G5, 92. I think 92. Wait, not not in this position. It's h4 first, and then 92. Yeah, there's like takes, 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 takes. My opponent's probably going to be more prepared than me. 
remember um, Ray Robson showing me this line a few months ago. We were traveling for this Abu Dhabi tournament, and he was uh, like casually brought this up as like an interesting, trendy variation. Um, so this is all I know. Knight g7 doesn't really work. I assume just bishop d3 looks solid. Some funny idea, bishop f5 and knight g7. I think the... Why is there a bug? Like a small gnat in my face. Um, what was I saying? Knight f4 looks like a natural square for the knight. Have to be careful, because queen being tied down. I mean, queen f3 maybe, like... And the king side looks very weak for black. I assume black wants to like, queenside castle at some point. But development is a little bit slow. Queen a4. So allowing knight f6. Also allowing rook h4. Wait, rook h4. Take, take king f1. Yeah, I mean, this looks good for white, unless I'm like misjudging something or missing something. And black can win back the pawn. But in the very end, I'm having threats of knight g7 and knight f6 to win the rook. Castling won't really help black. Castling is a is one way to end the pain for black. King d8. So rook c1 looks good. Now, yeah, the queen's tied down to both pieces. Rook's tied down, so I have to untangle somehow. A rook is... A rook's kind of tied down. Like, queen d2, rook c3. There's g4, there's bishop e2. Maybe bishop e2. It's a bit passive, though. There's e4 as well. Maybe queen d2, rook c3. This bug. This bug is like... It just crosses my line of vision so many times. Hard to get rid of. So rook c3. Hmm. And queen b2. Yeah, e4 is on the horizon. So unpinning the rook. Queen b6, I have rook b3. Might be threatening taking. Maybe not yet, though. Queen's still tied down to the rook. This might be a threat. Rook a3, queen c7, maybe f4, f5 later. Still looks pleasant. Wait, this is just winning? I saw this, this. I'm realizing I'm winning b7 in the end. The queen has no other squares. King c8 still goes on, or king d6, wow. I have this move. Oh no, my rook, and then checkmate. Mm, let's not get too excited. Looks really good, though. Yeah, there's knight d7. Oh no, my rook! Someone call an ambulance. So knight d7, e4, and then oh no my knight and oh no my rook. King is really safe on f1. Wait, where's the maiden end? e4. I should have calculated this. I was just looking at this line. Rook h4, here, here, 
King goes to c5, and the rook actually defends. Uh, I hope I don't mess this up. Wait, there's king e7. Someone actually called an ambulance. But maybe not for me? Wait a minute. Right, this is really bad. I have this and take... Should still be okay, I think. Oh no. Oh, it's so bad. The pawn's about to lose on time, though. Oh no. Wait. Wow, what's happening? G4? Or take? G4 first. Oh, what is this position? Here we go. Okay. Oh, wow. I completely forgot about King E7. I thought I was being so clever. It was such a smooth game up until actually blundering my rook. Because uh, I just assumed the rook still cuts off the king. Although that game wasn't the most calming, at least towards the end. I was so calm out of the opening. Yeah, I mean... I guess I had to be a little bit more alert. Uh, and probably a different move. Like here. Like G7. I got too excited though. <laughs> What to do? I mean, engine will say like plus so many for white, but it requires patience still. Okay. Um, are we on break? Oh, we're on break. Yeah, that was round four. Uh, that was a crazy game that just happened. Wait, let me just make sure the move sounds are okay. Yeah, this should be okay. It is nice playing um, playing a new repertoire, just getting fresh positions, and I feel like there's a lot to learn. Um, like the opening that we went into, I I only knew like very vaguely. Pretty sure there's a Magnus Nepo game in this line. Let's see, lines? No. Where's the opening book? Openings? I thought there isn't there um like a built-in explorer or no? Yeah, if if I had more monitors, I'd like open open Lee Chess and um bring it into a study. But it, it's too difficult to manage on just a laptop. Actually, if we have a break, I'll I'll real quick just check this um this game. Sorry if the layout's a little bit off, but. I just I just want the opening explorer. Bishop B4 here 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 here. Um, H5 first. H4 here here takes 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 takes. Masters. Ah, so is Nepo against Motlakov. I thought Magnus played this line though, but maybe it was more recently. An engine gives a plus for white. 
Oh, c6 was played. I played bishop d3. And my opponent played queen a5, which is just a big plunder, like giving away h4. Queen g5 is a better move. Knight f4, knight d7, queen b3. Yeah, it's still playable. Apparently a3 is the way to go. a3, bishop d6. King d2. Oh, that's so funny. King d2 is one of the top engine moves. Not sure if any human would want to play a move like that. Okay, f4 is actually the top move. But still funny that king d2 is among the, the best moves for white. Anyway, um, let me try and be focused for the next game. Uh, I'm tied for... Hey, it's Magnus. Hey, it's Ray Robson. I don't think Ray usually plays title Tuesdays. He's four out of four. Penguin is there. Oh, a lot of strong players here. Yeah, King D2, it's like a, a more useful delayed bond cloud. I guess the king is um is relatively safe in the center. That's one way to connect the rooks. So I'm in the group of three out of four. Hey, time with Komsky. Not going to play Komsky, though, because he's, uh, I mean, we already played. <laughs> Can't get revenge in this tournament. But I'll almost certainly play up, play someone higher rated. And I'll also probably beat Black next game. So I've already mentioned that uh, I'm sticking with English today. As Black, I'm looking to play either the, the Nimzovich. Or against d4, I kind of feel like playing Knight's Tango, which is maybe a sister opening of the Nimzovich at this early Knight c6, just to get some fresh positions. Knight's Tango is an opening I've studied in the past. And I think both of these lines are, I mean, they, they lead to like not so theoretical positions that are maybe a bit easier to play for Blitz. Okay, Knight's Tango time. Yeah, five months, smiley face. Ah, B5. So E5. E5, D5 is like one of the main lines. Knight G6. I feel like my opponent's prepared here. Um, yeah, I have to play H5? Pretty sure this is one of the most critical lines. H5, bishop g5, bishop e7. D6 first. I really want to play bishop c5, but... Bishop g7 is probably necessary. This is a problem. I, like, I haven't looked at the main theory in a while. And White's playing one of the most testing lines. But hopefully I can get at least a playable position. Oh dear, am I losing a pawn already? Or how bad is this? C6, counter punch. This does not look good though. I'll try c6, queen b6. So there's a line take, take, and then b2's hit, um, also threatening g5. Objectively, this is probably very bad for black, but maybe it gets tricky. Um, I have queen d4. One interesting option. Rook b1 is so calm. And then 92. No, 92 doesn't work though. Take, take. Hmm. Maybe king e7. Inspired from that delayed bond cloud line from previous analysis. So again, if takes, takes, I'll be threatening g5. 
And I can't develop so soon. Now maybe queen d4. This knight is really misplaced. c4 is tender. Queen e2 may be coming. Uh, yeah, knight f3 is coming next. I have to reorganize. I really wanted to exploit c4, but didn't see a way. Because if, if takes, then the knight just comes into d5. I might end up playing c5, but don't really want to if it's not necessary. Although, maybe I have to. Okay, let's hold off a little bit longer. I mean, white might already take and go for this stuff. Okay. Rook G, G5. Or do I close things down? Let's go for g5. So positional. Ah, uh, ninety two is coming. Eighty two, I go back. Ninety two, Queen C two now. That's a good move. Yeah, then ninety two, Queen A four. Seems so shaky. But Rook C8 coming. Yeah, the problem is B4, Rook C8, take, take, Knight B3. I take that? Probably not. Yeah, I'm worried about taking Knight B3. Although it's double edged, c4 could be tender in some lines. Kind of getting squeezed here. I'm going to play this king f8, 97. A five idea eventually. Mm. Time scramble time.
Ah, well played. Yeah, I was getting outplayed there. Good game, though. Um, yeah, it stemmed from losing the pawn early. Felt like I was holding my own around here. But... Yeah, white had like a very risk-free position. Not sure if I had anything better, like after h5. It's so difficult to play, though. Maybe I should leave the knight on, on f6. Oh, sorry about the move sound. Um, if it's too quiet, I can raise the volume. My headphones aren't working for some reason, so... Um, yeah, I've, like, I'm relying on speaker audio. Okay. Very little break there. Next game. Playing an IM from Slovenia. My score with black has not been great so far. Um, we'll stick with the same opening ideas. Bishop g7. Got some Grand Prix attack. Although Grand Prix against this sign. Hmm. Something fresh. Bishop g4. c5 should come. You know, f6 first. Not in any rush to play bishop g4. There's cases where uh, white will just move the queen away and bishop won't serve a purpose. Now, it is a question like how to try and crack the position or how to like formulate a plan hmm. there's c5 she wondering about e6 just anticipating queen h4 That might require some slow play. A4. Bishop B7. And if the queen moves away, then I have C4. Like one idea. Yeah, so this is probably a good example. So use a double C pawn to undermine this pawn formation. So I can undouble the pawns. And then knight h5, and then probably f5. That looks solid. Um, g4 might be coming. I guess I play f5 first. Best of luck. I like this double fiend cato. More open center now. Thank you, Jack and Z. Thank you, GFP. Appreciate the prime subs. Okay, this move I kind of forgot about. Um, it's a little bit annoying too. I mean, I have uh, I have rookie eight. Maybe it's okay. Take take ninety six, queen g seven. Yeah, there's that move. I might be in some trouble here, actually. But I'm going to try and hold my ground and keep the pawn on f5. In g4, it's, um, it's trying to hurt me, but it also leaves the king a bit more exposed. Long term, this diagonal could be very nice, especially because white doesn't have a light squared bishop. But white's going to have mating ideas. Attacking ideas against each seven. 
but in many lines I'm quick to play h6. In some lines a knight will come to e6 and I lose a darksword bishop. But one of the main points I'm ensuring that this pawn is staying on a forest so this bishop can't activate. Oh wow. I think I have to take. It's kind of surprising actually. I have knight d5 as well. Knight d5 is more active. And there's ideas of taking and then queen d5. Although I can't take right away because f6 doesn't look pleasant. I gotta watch my time too. I think the position is very fine though. Queen h4, I have h6. Meanwhile, threatening taking, and d3 is weak. h1 is a potential mating square. e5 is under attack. White has a lot of issues to address here. I take mm, keeps the game going. I'll take in Queen D five. Thank you, Kingsman Four. Appreciate the bits. I take on I do take. So Queen side down to D two now. Ooh. H6. I think I'm winning the pawn. Interesting. Tick, tick. Yeah, this should be okay. We get some position. I'm going to have rookie 8 in the very end, like after all the trades. White's king should be more exploitable than my king. Uh, there's bishop takes immediately, but then I take and win the rook. Yeah, so this is a calculation. Hmm. Setting up a small trap. Ooh. I have to move faster. I was so close to flying that game. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it got weird towards the end. I forgot about bishop e5. I mean, a5, um, it was like a hopeful move. Actually, it's not even good. My trap was uh, if bishop e bishop c7, uh, the plan was to play this move, threatening this and this, rook e2, winning the queen, but then still bishop e5. <laughs> I'm in the same predicament. Um, but yeah, this, I mean, this light sword bishop was a lot of compensation for the material deficit. And it's still probably okay for black. Um, especially after queen, <laughs> queen d4, it's force mate. Um, and here, king g1 is a better try. I was going to play king f7. And this is still crazy, like anything can happen here. Um, but I'd probably still have fine chances with the pawn and the light squares. Hey, it's Irene. Ray won against Magnus, really? Wow. Yeah, Ray and Magnus had this match like a while ago. Magnus 
actually adopted Ray, like winning 10 in a row in, I think, three O-chess. But Ray is, is dangerous. Six out of six. Four-way tie for first. We see Ray's game. Wait. Do you play that? Maybe it was a different... Wait, what? I'm not seeing the game against Magnus. It was also weird because I don't think it shows like his recent games. Like, it shows him at 6 out of 6 and it also shows he only won the last 3 games that he played. So... Yeah, it could it could just be server issues or database overload. Um, it'd be cool to find the game though. Also, that was round six. That was round six. So, um, breaks are usually after rounds four and eight. Okay, playing Grandmaster Hansen. Did Eric change his name? I feel like he had a different name at some point. It used to be GM Hansen. But now it's uh Yeah, like the GM is just a title. Okay. Uh I'll play Queen B3. This is offbeat opening. Knight of three. There's one trap to take the pawn if knight of six like would win a pawn. Now E3. I haven't looked at this in a while. D4. I got the bishop hair. I'll be B4 coming at some point. Right away. Yeah, maybe I should have played D5 first. Not sure, though. So I have B5. B5, A4. Go for B5. I'd like to leave tension. I might not end up casting kingside this game. I might just go full ham on the queen side. Okay, if I take... That'll be a good move. I have F3 here. F3, we trade a castle. Actually, it looks okay. Although, knight of four coming. Ugh. I feel like I've gone wrong. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Knight of five, knight b3. And the hope is to someday dominate the center. Like, more center pawns to fight for squares. The problem is, like, there's some weaknesses. King's a little bit airy. And there's future ideas of rook a2 to g2. e4 also on tap. But it looks like a very delicate position. So, okay, I defend f3. And queen might come in. So what's happening? Bishop g5? Actually, Bishop g5 is a nice follow-up. Complete development. Hit the knights. And then rook a2. So at least there's some clear plans. Wow. Ah, he's winning some pawns. There's knight e4. Not super pleasant, but f7 is hanging. What's happening here? Bishop f7. I really want to play rook f7, but bishop f7 first.
Mm. Wait, I can take the rook. Oh no, my queen, because of mating ideas. And it still looks very shaky. But it's a very interesting position, because I'm basically one material. But after queen takes, it's... Yeah, it's a weird... situation. Like, queen's attacked, and tied down to the rook. But maybe it's okay. Even if I lose back the exchange, I'm up a piece for a pawn. Yeah, Eric is good enough to know that this queen's not a free piece. As far as I know. So queen e3. Yeah, queen g6, probably rook g3. And just use the rook to shelter the king. I'm up a full rook here. This move? Hmm. This move. I'm trying to simplify. Ah, I forgot about queen d1. Oh no. Rook g3, queen d1 doesn't work. I have to play this. Oh no, I'm just losing. Oh, it's so bad. What have I done? <laughs> oh. I just didn't acknowledge queen g4 was a threat. I think I just assumed I would have these rook g3 moves. Oh, what to do? Am I getting mated? I'm losing the queen. Yeah. Oh, it's so sad. It's such a nice looking position too. Only hope is back rank. Please take my bishop. Pawn storm time. He knows my tricky traps too, unfortunately. Don't! Ah! <laughs> I mean, the hope is to take, take, here, 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 and then here, and then he pre moves this. It would probably never happen, but maybe some alternate universe. Good game. Um, yeah, it was a cool idea, like, to. Take the rook, leave the queen hanging, and then just miss queen g4 was a threat. Um, I still saw queen g6, but I mean, really, what I missed was uh, queen d1. So, yeah, I considered rook f4, but then this is very strong because I don't have rook g3. So maybe I had to be patient, like h3? No, h3, queen g6. And the knight's hanging too. Yeah, queen e6 was very resourceful. I imagine white should be better here somehow. Maybe queen f4. Oh, knight's not hanging. Things are defended. But queen f4 just addressing the threat and threatening mate. I'm sure the engine will say white's up a piece. 
Let's see. Yeah, engine says white self of peace. Actually, it says rook g3. Makes a lot of sense. I guess rook g3, I didn't want to concede the f-file. I assume the idea is knight c5 or knight d2. Yeah, black's a little bit slow. Well, I've been getting good positions from uh, the opening, at least as white. I feel like every game I'm <laughs> getting really nice positions with white. Uh, wow, engine says bishop g5 here, which was not on my radar in this position. So apparently this position is really bad after, but still very bad. So he had to play queen d7. Yeah, taking an f3 was a little bit too soon. Okay, round seven. Playing down. Um, Yeah, my results with black haven't been so great. Although I did win the last game with black. So I'll play this line again. Thank you, Guario. Happy 31 months. I'm playing this opening really not knowing so much theory. But um, I just know that these squares are important. And if d5, probably knight d4. Although I have to calculate. And d5, knight, d4, take, take here, queen f6. Yeah, I shouldn't be losing the pawn. I see the comment from do it for Kobe. Been watching. Oh, been watching since I've had 17,000 subscribers. I was like over four years ago. I know more people watch on YouTube than Twitch. Yeah, this actually isn't so great for black. Is F4 is coming? Now, like maybe I play H5? H5 looks weakening, but H5, H3. So let's just do this. F4, Knight D7. And yeah, I'll try and operate with a little bit less space. Yeah, a little bit worse here. But it's still solid. Like, there's still lots of life left. Um, ideally, I'd like to pressure the pawn at some point. And white still has to kind of figure out what to do as well. Queen e7, maybe, on the horizon. Later ideas of pushing. The rook probably doesn't want to be... How to do this, actually? Queen e7 now looks less attractive. Knight c5 takes an e5. Like a6. I think a6, rook b8. If I played rook b8, there's bishop a7. Yeah, White's also slow playing. We're both slow playing the position. We're staying within our own territory. Uh, so now b5. B5 threatening b4 to win the pawn. And bishop f2 is usually natural. Queen f2. 
That's unexpected. So B4? I think I'm just winning the pawn. White maybe just forgot the threat was kind of real. Tick, tick, tick. And this could still get tactical. Like bishop a7. I take on e1. Maybe rook b5. Okay, so take rook b5. We're threatening this, but also threatening to try and trap the bishop. Knight e7, king f8. Oh, knight c6. And then queen a8. This was a blind spot. Can I have six defending? If I take, wait, what if I take? If I take, I get maiden in one, queen d8. Okay. Knight f6. So the knight is attacked. There's no more intrusion or invasion. And knight's tied down to defending the bishop. Now there is bishop d4 here. Still be tricky. Um, now I can take though. Take queen c8, knight e8. Okay. Rook f5. Wait. It just calls for defending against threats. Maybe seven doesn't work. I think it's just rook f5. G4 will block the diagonal. Takes, takes, takes. It's just one pawn. Up a piece now. G4, I take it. C5 coming. Bishop d4. Okay. Felt like a pretty clean game, although, I mean, the opening wasn't super comfortable. It's maybe what I get for playing knight c6 on move one. Um, and yeah, there were like there were a few moves I overlooked or almost overlooked. Completely forgot about knight c6. Fortunately, I had queen a8. And then, very fortunate here, I have knight f6. Like, otherwise, this could be a lot of trouble. And the opening... I'm wondering about this position. I'm sure this is some, some sort of theory. Uh, maybe real quick, can uh, switch over to Lee Chess. So we do have another break. Um, analysis board. I copied the PGN, I think. Oops. Let's see if this works. Cool. Yeah, so I copied PGN and I'll flip. And then I just want to see the opening. Um, this position's been played. I know Nihal Sarin has played this. Um, I think recently in some maybe chess.com global championship, he was toying around with these knight c6, g6 setups. But it is offbeat for master level. The bishop e3, e5. Oh, e5 is the most played move here. Okay, let's see what the engine thinks. Engine just says white's better, yeah. Engine, I think, is just biased for these positions in, in white's favor. Because white has a center and um but on a practical level it should still be playable. So I took let's see e5 right away. D5. Uh D5 just D takes E5.
Okay, Engine likes this for light because knight d5 in the end. And black has to do some contortions. Rook d7. Yeah, if white plays very accurately, it could be a, a big headache. Um, what I played in my game... Yeah, white also got a pretty stable advantage. So look, and then went for f4. So next time, maybe I play knight f6. And just keep things a bit more... What's the right word? Like, I'm not trying to force matters. Just keeping things more flexible. And then if d5 then goes knight to his back and c6, knight d7. Um, and if castling, castling, queen d2, and eventually e5. Okay, learning some, uh, some fresh positions. Nice thing about playing a new opening. Like there, there can be more to learn in the early stages about how to treat certain situations. Okay, so um, I played eight games so far. I'm five out of eight. I had one nice upset win. Actually, one really crazy upset win against Grandmaster Pop from earlier. Um, had a few tough losses to Komsky to a different GM. Oh yeah, um, let's see if we can find the, where is it? Let's actually check the standings first. Wow, Magnus on seven out of eight. How's Ray doing? Oh, so Ray apparently beat Magnus. So game, the game thing isn't loading though. Oh, here, okay. So it, it, the game shows up on Magnus's profile, just not Ray's profile. Oh, Magnus, okay, Magnus is playing a modern. So I already know the result that uh, Magnus lost this game. And it's a dangerous opening to play against Ray. Like, Ray usually likes these positions. Get the sharp attack. Wow, e5. Really nice start to the game for Ray. But Magnus doesn't crack easily. Or does he? Wow, just looks like Ray crushed Magnus. Like this knight, the black pieces are in shambles. Yeah, this is fully one-sided game. Though Magnus won back the piece, but it's still down two pawns. Oh, but only one pawn. Wow. So white still had to work to win. But okay, one pawn still apparently was enough. Wait, this still isn't so simple. Ooh. Wow. What a finish. Oh, that's so funny. The pawn, so usually this position is drawn. Or wait. No, I'm getting confused. I'm thinking like the queen. Never mind. Um, I had a full hallucination there. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a nice finish. Surprise Magnus didn't try to promote tonight. Wait, why is there auto queen on analysis board? <laughs> 